When turning bowls from large green blanks using traditional tools, the entire middle of the bowl is reduced to a pile of shavings. With a coring system such as the McNaughton Center Saver, you are able to make a nested set of bowls, which is especially valuable in figured woods and burls. The McNaughton system is arguably the most flexible coring system, but it can be tricky to set up. There are a number of great videos on the topic, but they all rely on eyeballing the entry angle, which I was trying to do here. If you go too deep, you can blow through the bottom of the bowl. And, unfortunately, eyeballing is not my forte. Imagine my joy when I discovered the YouTube channel of New Zealander Gavin Brunton. He came up with a method whereby you measure the diameter and depth of your bowl blank, enter it into his spreadsheet, and out come the diameter measurements and blade approach angles. To set the tool at the prescribed angle, he designed a jig that resembles a protractor on steroids. As I watched his detailed instructions on how to make the jig by hand, I couldn't help but think it would be a perfect project for my 3D printer. First, I modeled it up using Fusion 360, making some modifications that would make it easier to print. I then fed the files to Printy, who obligingly transferred them into this dimension. I slopped on some model paint to make the markings stand out visually. Another option would have been to change filaments during the print. I then assembled the jig, which involved my first 3D printed mortise and tenon joint. To get my blank, I started with a piece of Norway maple that I salvaged from a neighbor's yard. I split it in a very inefficient fashion. Then split off the pith layer. Marked off a circle. Split off what I could and finish it off with a chainsaw. I usually do this with a bandsaw, but as the blanks get bigger, this gets a little bit unwieldy. I then used a draw knife to clear off the bark and soften the sharp edges with a power planer. I then brought the blank to the lathe and roughed the outside of the bowl, creating a large tenon able to take the stresses of coring. I then cleaned up the face and got my diameter and depth measurements. I chose my blade radius from the McNaughton set and set the blade selector on the jig accordingly. I then punched in the measurements into the spreadsheet and transferred the results onto the blank. I set the angle on the jig and mounted it on the tool guide, aligning the pointer with my mark and ensuring the jig was set parallel to the bowl face. I then got to coring. With the first cut complete, I then set the angle for the outer cut. Then reverse the smaller bowl and use the larger bowl as a jam chuck and turn to tenon on the smaller bowl. I then did some cleanup on the inside of the larger bowl, if for no other reason than to generate beautiful shavings. I then sealed the rough turn bowls with anchor seal and set them aside to dry. So what did I do with the other jig? 
mailed it to Gavin, of course. <laughs>